Hello everyone, uh, today I'm going to show you how I got program mark to work. So first thing you want to do is of course download the Excel file that uh, Corey has given us. So after that you want to open up in Excel and the first thing I like to do is I want to sort it out by uh, sliders first. Um, depending on what he might ask you, he might make you do uh, more species but uh, our primary focus will be sliders. So what you're going to do is go up to the drop down menu and then you're going to deselect everything but the sliders so you do this and i just click slider and then you press ok then you should now have all the sliders that are now being displayed on this excel sheet next what we're going to do is now we're just going to check all the marked data for any other text given besides x so you see here that we have a deceased turtle what we want to do is just get rid of that lettering for every single one of our our data points so here we just want to get rid of all that too. So after getting rid of all the necessary data, what we're going to do now is I'm just, you're going to make another uh, sheet on the same Excel file. You, all you have to do is just press this plus button right here and a new sheet should pop up next to this one. You can rename it whatever you want. I just name it Mark Data for just for my uh, personal preference. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to copy the pit tag number for all the sliders and we're just going to copy paste it onto column A, just the values only. And then what I'm gonna to do to make it look a little bit nicer is to format the cell and to automatically fit the width so it doesn't look ugly. So what I'm gonna do now is now we're gonna copy and paste all the columns with all the data on it. So we're gonna copy, go back to our new Excel sheet that we made. We're gonna click here, click paste and paste values only. May take a while because there's a lot of data points but now you should see that we have all the data points on this new excel sheet so what we're going to do now is after copying and pasting all the pit tag ids and all the capture data into this new express sheet we're going to convert all the x's into ones and all these blank spots into zero i also like to take out all the dashes and uh pit tag ids i don't think it's necessary in the dot imp file but i did it just in case after looking through the data again just making sure you see this one has not no like id or anything so for this i'm just gonna put like no id so, so now just check the data again it looks good to me so what we're gonna do now is select select all of the pit tag numbers all the way to the last value hit find and select hit replace now we're going to find the dash and replace with a blank spot what this will do it will, it will compact all the pit tag ids into one big number hit replace all and then click ok you should see that now all the numbers are in a big number but it's okay if this is in scientific notation because once we do the concatenate function then it will uh it'll still read out the whole number so that, that should be fine. Next, what we're going to do is select all of the capture data up to the end. Find and select, replace. Find the X, replace with one. Replace all. Next, we're going to do is take the, do the same thing, but instead find the blank spot. So just leave it empty and replace with zero. And then Replace all. Now we should see all of our data should have either a one or a zero. Here there's an empty spot. So what I would do is I would probably go back to this sheet and just refer back to where it, this data is located. So if there's a blank spot, just go back into the main Excel sheet and just find out where this missing value is. because. After converting all of the data into zeros and ones and standardizing all the pit tag numbers, we now need to use the concatenate function to combine all the one, ones and zeros into a long string of data, as well as putting the pit tag in a certain format for the .imp file. I already have the function here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to link this function into the YouTube description so that you can copy paste it yourself 
But here's some things to know about this. The spacing does matter in this function because if the spacing is wrong now, then it's going to be wrong in the, in when you copy paste onto the file. So after uh, getting the concatenate file or the text into one cell, you're just going to drag this whole thing where you formatted the first cell all the way to the bottom of the data sheet. What it'll do now is it'll apply the concatenate function into all of the cells. So it should all look like this now. Next, what we're going to do is you're going to go into a text file. I use the Microsoft Notepad specifically, but what you're going to do is you're going to copy all of this. And you're going to open up a new word file or a new notepad file or text document. And you're going to paste it all. And now you should have all this right here into the text file. What we're going to do now is we're going to save. Assuming that everything is formatted correctly, we're going to save as. We're going to name it something. So I'll just name it like mark data and the most important part is going to label it with a dot i n p at the end we're going to save as type all files and then save now this file right here should be saved in your desktop what we're going to do now is now use program mark to s use to get a population estimate for the slider population so you after downloading program mark on google you're going to open it and then click on the file new Select pull pan for the data type, name the data for uh, so anything you want really, and then select the file. It should automatically pop up if you save the file correctly. Press open. Encounter occasions, set that to, for us, our case, we're going to do 18. And then leave attribute groups the same, and individual covariates the same here. And now we're going to set the time interval. So the time interval is for how ma however many days have passed since each capture event. So you will have to do the, the estimations yourself. But basically, after that, you're just going to put look, how many days are in between each capture event. We're going to continue here now in three, two, one. So after setting all the time intervals, as you can see here, so after that, just press OK and then just check everything is selected properly. Hit OK again. Hit OK. Go up to the top, hit PIM, open parameter index matrix, select all, hit OK. Next, we're going to hit run and we're going to hit current model. For the model name, you have to type in this specific function that I will also list in the description. So it should be that, and then this. And then pen, uh, function t, and then bracket at the end. And then for this, you put farm specific, and then everything else you should just leave the same. Hit OK to run. Press yes. And for all of this, leave phi as log it, p as log it, but for pent, it's m log it one for all of them. And then hit more, because there's gonna be more options. So for pent, just m log it, like as I say it. And then for n, it's just gonna be log. Check everything again. So phi log it, p log it, and then m log it for pent. 
looks good to me. So then we're going to hit OK. So after setting all the time intervals, as you can see here, so after that, just press OK. And then just check everything is selected properly. Hit OK again. Hit OK. Go up to the top, hit PIM, open parameter index matrix, select all, hit OK. Next, we're going to hit run and we're going to hit current model. For the model name, you have to type in this specific function that I will also list in the description. So it should be that, and then this. And then pen uh, function t and then bracket at the end and then for this you put farm specific and then everything else you should just leave the same hit ok to run press yes and for all of this leave phi as log it p as log it but for pen it's m log it one for all of them and then hit more because there's going to be more options so for pen, just mlog it, like as I say it. Oh. And then for n, it's just gonna be log. Check everything again. So phi log it, p log it, and then mlog it for pen. Looks good to me. So then we're gonna hit. After that, all that like weird black screen, just click yes. And then after this, you should see this. All you gotta do is right click it, hit real estimates. So for to interpret this data sheet, all you need to look at is this number right here. Phi is, is the survival rate. This P value right here represents the recapture probability. And N right here, it gives you the estimate and then the confidence interval.